Hello there dear youtubers my name is king1993 and today is another day of me trying to explain another punishing grade 11 character and today's character is called chrome glory okay so what type of character is chrome glory and how to use his weapon and memory resonance properly and this video will also be able to help the intermediate and the beginner players to understand uh, how they can do so uh, so that they can able to use this character as efficiently as possible okay so the question remains is the information so the question remains is the information that are provided in this section here are they correct or are they incorrect well uh, truth to be told uh, this is an incorrect information here as you can probably see the memory set here is okay but i think the Einstein should be on the top okay and the weapon should be a six star weapon not a five star weapon so as you can probably see the we uh, weapon and the uh, memory placement information is actually wrong so where can we get the proper information from we can get the proper information from a certain website that that goes by the name greatevents.com which is made by Kuro game company the information here are highly accurate that even meta players uses this guide okay now once you click on this chrome glory you will be taken to this page here there are a lot of information that i will be talking about one by one now chrome glory is considered as an s rank construct tank type clock construct his weapon is called gunblade his signature weapon is called apollo and his favorite gift is called r3 cleaning robot okay now just as the information which is shown here that he is considered as 80 percent of elemental damage dealer and 20 percent of physical damage dealer truth to be told i have not seen him doing a single amount of physical damage when you are going to be mostly using his orbs and his uh, charge shot or whatever uh, ultimate uh, sorry not ultimate signature move he uses so from all that all i can say that the information about this uh, character being 80% of ice damage dealer is more like 90% uh, or 95% of ice damage dealer okay now because this character is an s rank construct you will be getting this character within 60 or 120 pulls now uh, thank god i was able to get this character uh, within the current banner which is happening right now okay uh, for example this rnd section here uh, okay let's see event and this arrival construct so i was able to get this chrome glory from this place here normally it is not possible because it is a 70 percent chance and most of the time i actually loses it so as a result me getting this character within the last 10 pool is a very good uh, thing okay so i was able to get this character from this place but normally if i do not get this character within this pool maybe i would be able to get this character within next 60 pool something like that anyway so the question remains is what is his memory placement and weapon as you probably saw the weapon is apollo the question remains is what is his memory placement now his memory placement as shown here there are two types pain cage and main build go with the main build because in the main build there will be uh zoo when you won four pieces uh, three at the bottom and one on the top and einstein uh, two pieces on the top so that is gonna be the main memory placement formation okay now it doesn't matter if zoo when one or einstein is at the middle right or left it doesn't matter as long as you put in the following manner it should be fine okay now when it comes to the top resonance it is gonna be attack plus hp 6x and plus skill level 6x okay now other than that it is shown here that this set can be used in phantom pain case warzone uh, normal revival plan and high difficulty content general purpose set allows chrome glory as a sub dps and lowers ice resistance for qte lucia plume okay not optimal in phantom pain case due to the random activation condition of zoo when you want four pieces set effect but still functional allows him to do sub dps in low invested ice team optimal set against nozzle in triple s rank or higher ice team okay so it doesn't matter if it is nozzle or not it doesn't matter 
what matters is that this is the best set for this character okay now as you scroll downwards you'll see that there are weapon resonance given in the following manners now the priority wise it is shown here uh both hyper flow resonant echo deadline timing and boundary annihilation now obviously i can understand why deadline timing because this is a sub dps character so having more orbs should be a highly necessary thing so from that point of perspective deadline timing as a third priority is okay now the second one is resonant echo the duration of effect inflicted by tank class will increase by eight seconds okay so it will be increased by eight seconds more okay and the main one which is going to be the first one which is going to be both hyper flow is going to be inflectively effect uh, upon dealing ice damage so it doesn't matter if you use orb or signature move as long as it is doing ice damage the chili effect will target the enemy and lower their ice resistance by 8% for 8 seconds and it can be performed as repeatedly as possible okay now other than that when it comes to the core skill okay core skill is basically more like the hidden skill the hidden skill is given here in the following manner it is a large uh, combination here so let's see if i can able to discuss to you uh, in the shortest manner possible so during battle okay clone glory hp is compressed 40 percent and the remaining 60 percent turns into shield that automatically regenerates over time when he is full of energy press and hold the basic attack button to empty glorious shield capacity and activate uh, frost spirit form okay so if you have a lot of shield uh, you can activate the frost spirit form and this can only happen when you will see a certain sort in this middle area here it will turn blue when it fully turns blue uh, just hold the attack button so that's basically what he's saying rearranging all orbs yep exactly what happens okay all three pings made in this form will gain condensed frost without consuming glorious shield but glorious shield cannot automatically regenerate while frost spirit is active so uh, you will be gaining shield uh, glorious shield and this glorious shield will not regenerate if you use uh, frost spirit so yeah like while doing damage you cannot while doing large damage of using frost spirit you cannot regenerate shield it is okay because the amount of damage this uh, character does is a lot so compared to that that shield is not necessary okay chrome glory creates eroding chill around himself dealing 150 percent of ice damage to the enemy every 0.5 second also inflicting them with frost corrosion that reduces their ice resistance by 15 percent for eight seconds triggering this effect will again will renew its duration so overall what it is saying that you can basically renew this by using as much as orbs this and and normal attack etc and by doing so a large quantity of shield will be generated and if you where to use this uh, frost spirit okay uh, the it will do a lot more damage and the frost spirit and the glorious shield doesn't work together it works separately while one is active the other one uses its ability something like that okay now that is basically it for this character so if the question remains is okay this is an s rank character okay it is not possible to get this s rank character at the beginning part of the gameplay so why can you get an alternative for this character now the alternative for this character is going to be shang yun shilin because this shang yun shilin is the a rank okay and every a rank character in this game you will be able to get them within 10 or 20 pulls so from that point of perspective if you do not have chrome glory use uh, shang yun shilin but if you were to tell me how good is Shang Yun Shilin, Shang Yun Shilin is actually horrible to use. Like when you compared uh, Chrome Glory with Shang Yun Shilin, I would say uh, Shang Yun Shilin falls more into the D rank category, if you were to ask me. Okay. 
like in terms of use but in terms of chrome glory chrome glory falls into the a rank or s rank category in terms of battle so in terms of battle shang yun chilin is gonna be giving you a hard time because his activation method is actually very difficult to activate and because of that reason he will be doing more physical damage than ice damage okay or maybe 50 percent ice damage and 50 percent of physical damage instead of whatever is written here whereas for chrome glory you will not be seeing chrome glory using any physical damage you will only be using ice damage most of the time so that much difference it is when it comes to chrome glory chrome glory and shang yun chilin okay now if you were to ask me what other uh, team formation you can do with uh, chrome glory with chrome glory falling into the category of sub dps tank character the one of the main dps is going to be lucia plum and the healer or support character is going to be one she hypnos but one she hypnos despite being a support or healer character he can do massive quantity of damage to the enemy to the point that the enemy might lose up to few bars of the enemy's health okay so that much good uh one she hypnos he is on his own okay so anyway if you uh find this uh, video interesting regarding of chrome glory of which type of weapon resonance and memory resonance you should be using on this character then this video will be able to help you understand with that topic other than that if you are planning on using this character <laughs> and become a meta player then obviously it is possible now by watching this video now if you think that this video will be able to help you in that regards then there are other punishing grade event videos as well you can watch those to gain more idea of what you should be doing when it comes to from glory or any other characters as well okay so if you like this video then please give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icons to get more of this type of topic on a regular basis thank you and see you again next time